Hi everyone, today we'll be motorizing the 42160 Audi RS Q e-tron with the following components. Two Bubis motors, a Bubis 3.0 and of course just to be safe I'm using some grease. Ideally you do not need any additional parts to motorize it with Bubis components and now it's time to turn theory into practice and build it. So the front axle is complete and you can see there are already some changes compared to the original. The biggest change is that the steering motor was moved down uh, by two studs and connected directly to the steering rack, which improves the steering uh, system. There is much less slack than if there were two more gears between them. And I was able to move the motor down because there is no drive motor needed here because we will be driving via an axle from the two buoys motors which will be placed around here somewhere. And here is the completed rear axle modification. As you can see there are no gears, no original L motor. Uh, the rear axle is driven directly by two buoys motors which are actually interconnected here uh, with a five studded axle with a stop. So they are connected with a high uh, speed output so that both can drive the wheels. So in case of the car going uphill, both front and rear axle are getting full power. So there is no case of just front digging and rear stalling. And this way it should have a higher performance than if just one motor would be driving one axle. Of course, you can also remove this axle and then you have independent front and rear wheel drive, but that will reduce the performance when going at extremes. So front and rear axle have been successfully attached and now if we drive the rear axle we can see that the front axle is also working, both axles are interconnected and of course if you want to you can also remove this uh, connection point by removing this axle and then each axle will be independently driven. I will keep them connected because as mentioned before it improves the performance. And here's a quick progress update. The Bowie's 3.0 Pro has been integrated here in the front. The motors have been all connected. So basically all that's left is to finish the bodywork. The model seems to be functional and we'll see how well it performs. So here is the finished uh, modification. I managed to do it without any additional parts except for, of course the Bowie's 3.0 and the two Bowie's motors. And you are left over with these uh, parts, the hub, and of course two additional L motors. And I already made the profile so you can control it with a joystick, which is a test version of the app. And I think it came out really great. Uh, later we will probably uh, print custom stickers or even make it a different color. But for now, I think it's very well done. Uh, I'm really happy how it turned out and I think it's time to test it.